Kin and difficult test, but you came through it um, and safely into round five. Yeah, it's probably everything we thought we was going to get in this game. Look, it's, it may look easy on paper, but these games are tough. We've got the crowd behind them. They, they work so hard. It's a big game for them. Keep a good shape. So, look, you have to be disciplined in these games and you have to work the ball and you have to just stay composed. And, and I feel like we did that today. And so positive signs, created a lot of chances, clean sheet. Um, so, yeah, into next round. Whenever Kelechi and Acho gets the ball in front of goal in the FA Cup, you tend to know what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, his record in this competition is fantastic. So every time he seems to have a shot in this in this competition, it goes in. So when he came on, I'm I'm really happy that he managed to score and a couple more chances. So yeah, especially in the second half, I feel like we were a lot more dominant. We created a lot of chances, so that's positive. Were there any particular instructions for you at half time? Because second half kicked off and, and you were the Leicester player who seemed to really take this game by the scruff of the neck? Uh, not really, I just in myself I wanted to, to have more impact in the game. Um, it, the game was, a, we wasn't as dominant in the first half, they were, they were quite deep and there wasn't much space for me to get on the ball so in the second half I wanted to, to use it, do it myself, like try and get into the game more myself and I feel like I did that and I'm happy that I helped contribute to the team winning the game and probably should have scored at the end which I'm disappointed with but it's, at least you're getting the chances and, and, and I know that they'll go in if I keep getting them. 90 minutes under your belt as well which given the period of football that's coming up do you begin to feel like you're you're back to 100% match sharpness? Yeah definitely it feels good to get 90 minutes I was I was devastated um, when I when I injured myself in the warm up of the Fulham game um, as a player it's the worst thing to be injured especially when you're playing games and I was really upset so I'm just over the moon to be able to get back pretty quick and, and I feel good um, to get a 90 minutes and run belt was always the plan and now I'm hoping that I can kick on because we've got a lot of important games coming up. James Madison on, on his first start since the, the beginning of November must be a big boost for the rest of the squad and, and yourself given how close on the pitch you, you have to play with James. Definitely it's, it's a massive boost everybody knows how good he is I love playing with him and we were together in the physio room going through our, our rehab together and and we were just motivating, motivating each other to, to try and get back as quick as possible because, look, we love playing with each other. We're great friends off and off on the, on the pitch and everybody respects him because of his quality. So to have him back is going to be a big, big positive. And just finally, Victor Christensen made, made his debut. Um, what did you make of uh, how he played and also how he settled in over the last couple of days? Yeah, I like him. Um, young lad, very, very determined, motivated. And look, as you've seen into the game, he got in some great positions. I should have got him an assist, which I apologise to him in the change rooms after. But he's in them positions creating chances, which is important. So obviously he's, he's still not fully up to, up to speed because of, he's not played many games. But I think when he's, um, when he's full and full throttle that he's going to be a great addition to the team.